I would tell you a story about honor and duty, set when the free city of Hammerfall won its independence from the Empire. I'm listening. If I may, Duke Ivan, might I share a story that would shed some light on your predicament and the choices that lie ahead? It is the story of Thomas Wolfe. I know the names of the major houses well, and I have never heard of a Thomas. And angels cannot lie. His name was stricken from the annals of the Holy Empire, but his story still resonates through time. What does it mean to become a leader, an honorable man? It was the year 469 of the Seventh Dragon, in the Duchy of Wolf. Thomas, the third son of Duke Heinrich, was tasked with repairing the old Falcon Road in preparation for an upcoming visit. A menial task for a young lord, but for Heinrich's ambition, it was vital for gaining imperial favor. Thomas argued that they were lowering themselves to licking imperial boots and left his father's house with nary a goodbye. Though Thomas felt that the Falcon Road was the business of the Falcon, he understood the machinations of court life enough to do as he was bid. The tediousness of this task will be as boring as the journey. Thomas's banner proclaimed his noble blood, and troops flocked to serve him, seeking fortune and adventure. After days of monotony, the broken bridge before him seemed as exciting a challenge as wrestling a wild and hungry griffin bare-handed. Searching for wood to mend the bridge, Thomas's noble heart was moved by a group of lowly farmers whose daughters had been taken from them by bandits. Thomas's blood boiled with rage. How could our peasants of Wolf be treated such? The bandits were no match for Thomas and his trained troops. The daughters were returned to their families in short thrift. The farmers offered to provide the wood he needed to repair the bridge. But Thomas refused, ordering them to rebuild their homes and rekindle their hearths. For the first time in his privileged life, Thomas's chest swelled with pride at his achievement. He began to understand the virtue of honest toil. Thomas could not understand why the Empress, or for that matter his own father, had allowed such an important road to fall into such ill repair. The strategically located town of Warhagen 
long disputed between the lands of Wolf and Griffin, lay just on the other side of the bridge. Thomas was eager to see it for the first time. to block the Falcon Road. This is Imperial land under the jurisdiction of the Wolf. Do you not know how to read a map, sir? Go back, boy. The borderlands are no place for pups. These are Griffin lands. It is you who are trespassing. It... Was it you who broke the bridge? This... You are going to pay for this! Run back to your mother, boy. She'd hate to see what I'd do to your pretty face. This is our land. Now be off! I will not give you another chance. It is I who will not give you a chance. Thomas proved his mettle while winning a battle against a knight of his duchy's oldest rival. Border disputes between duchies were common and considered important tests of courage, at least by the knights. But the real test of a man is knowing when not to draw his blade. The Griffin flag. They've claimed Warhagen. The wolf shall not sleep till its people are once more free! You were lucky once, pup. I'll grant you that. But know this. These walls are griffin walls. If you attack, it'll be war and I shall have your head. Griffin walls? Warhagen has been wolf for over four centuries. I'll drag you through its streets in chains before nightfall. If your duke wants to ever see you again, then he'd best send enough gold to pay for a bridge. Boy, you could not scratch these walls, let alone my hide. Ready the catapult! We some scratching. Tell me you didn't just send Lord Mateusz to the dungeon. Excuse me? Who are you to address me in that way? Emeril Redshield at your service, my lord. Your uncle, Lord Conrad, has sent me with a warning. A Griffin army has crossed the border and is three weeks out. So the Griffin has declared war? No. You declared war on the Griffin. Over what? Your father sent you to repair the roads. They destroyed a bridge and invaded one of my cities. How many men have they sent? I'm going out to meet them. You are staying here. Your uncle orders you to use the time to prepare the defenses. This incident can still be contained if you remain the only culprit. Lord Conrad cannot be implicated in any way. But you've... There is star silver in a mine to the south. You can use it to improve your fortifications. I'll aid you if need be.
I acted as my uncle or any other wolf would. He is a man of honor. I thought he was overseas. Your uncle Comrade is attending an imperial banquet at your father's request. A battle he would have rather avoided, but felt duty bound to wage. Ha! <laughs> Uncle Conrad was always better with a sword than a fork. He hates life at court. But the Empress is coming. My father is spared no expense to carry her favor. Your uncle is a warrior, but he is a man of learning, too. My father has no qualms about using his family. The Duke's heart is set on being appointed Admiral of the Holy Fleet. And the irony is, he hates getting in a bath, never mind the ocean. <laughs> we have enough star silver here to bribe half the merchants of Hammerfall. The merchants of Hammerfall are honest traders. Unlike most nobles. It's a saying. I meant no insult. Are you the daughter of a merchant? A vendor maid turned to soldiering? My family was killed while defending their home. Bandits are more common out there than Imperial troops. Hammerfall is on the edge of the civilized world. Civilized? The Empire rescued the free city of Hammerfall only to annex it for themselves. A protectorate is no more than a prison with gates! Does my uncle share such thoughts? He is the commanding protector, after all. Conrad at least listens before speaking, and never charges blindly into a fray. Aye, aye, Captain. Thomas's preparations were just in place when the Griffin army came into sight. Emeril's report was accurate. Their cavalry was impressive. Facing this host in open field would have been suicide. Young Thomas was victorious in battle against the Griffin invaders, but in the end was defeated in the Imperial court. Defeated? How? Thomas defeated his enemies. A trifling deception. After they found proof that Warhagen was theirs, the Griffins laid a trap a child would fall for. And he did. Indeed. An ancient map signed by Ronan Falcon I, awarding them the city. This was not Sergei's ultimate goal. He had plotted this disgrace to steal Empress Kyla's favor for himself. Gaining the city of Warhagen was a bonus as pleasing as it may have been. Correct. Heinrich of Wolf possessed the greatest experience at sea, yet Sergei of Griffin was appointed Admiral of the Imperial Fleet. The Wolf's efforts had been in vain, and the house's reputation tarnished. Imeril pleaded in favor of Thomas, but Duke Heinrich answered that smart wolves avoid traps and do not spring them. He gave his son the choice of becoming a priest of the Church of Elrath or joining his uncle in the remote provinces of the East. In battle, all men honest. In court, not even family. It seemed that Thomas of Wolfe's story might have ended here, were it not that Hammerfall was also in the East and in need of a hero.